Hi there, I'm Alan Newdy from the Historical Aviation Film Unit and I'm here at Flair NZ at Takofa Airfield near Hamilton, New Zealand talking to Stephen Hoyle of Shearwater Aircraft Limited. This aeroplane uh, is designed from scratch to solve the problems of drag for amphibian aeroplanes. The key is the technology underneath where my hand is and this ski extends down and that's what's used when you're on the water. Because we can retract the ski when we're airborne, all the drag associated with floats or the boat hole shape of an aeroplane is completely eliminated. Now after that, we've designed an aeroplane with very, very good aerodynamics indeed. Everybody would call it really slippery. I think that's a good expression for it. Uh, so it's quieter, more comfortable, faster, and more roomy than any other aeroplane available today. So it'll do about the same gas consumption as your car, about 10 litres per 100 k. So whereabouts are you in the, in the whole production cycle at this stage? Well, right now we're ready to start building the prototype and as soon as we get the necessary investment funds that we want, that will start and in about two years time we'll be selling kit sets to anybody who wants them and our intention is to get this aeroplane as a certified aeroplane in the shortest time we can manage. The demand for an aeroplane like this throughout the entire world is very, very strong indeed. And we have an opportunity right now uh, to revolutionise general aviation. So do you see it as, as primarily just a, a sports aircraft for recreation or are there, are there other potential uses? Uh, no, this is an aeroplane that can be used absolutely anywhere. You can use it as your personal air vehicle, um, a really good workhorse or a recreational fun machine. The, the thing about it is that instead of a pilot buying an aeroplane because the pilot likes it, he'll be buying it because his wife wants to travel in it or a man wants to use it to carry a large load a long distance. It's got very long range. With a full load, it can travel 1,500 nautical miles. Uh, so this is an aeroplane for anybody to use as a very useful aeroplane. It's not a toy, it's not a fun machine, it is uh, the household SUV, except it happens to have wings and it happens to be able to land on water. Um, so how many people are you going to fit in this aircraft, Steve? It's about the same size as uh, an average size motor car. Two people in the front, bench seat in the back, take two, maybe three people, and it'll take a really good load uh, as well as those people. So it'll carry a great deal. It's the sort of thing you could use to take the whole family on a camping trip. Um, so, purely out of interest, what set you down this path of development? Uh, it was really a, a fascination with wanting to get into having my own aeroplane and build my own aeroplane. And uh, there was one example, early example, that I, I looked at and was very involved with, and that got me started, and that didn't work out. Uh, but that was the springboard for it, and I stayed with it, thinking the opportunity here is fantastic, and the opportunity for New Zealand is fantastic. I'll give it a go. So you're looking at um, production in New Zealand and, and, and not, not shipping out overseas or anything like that? Yeah. This is a, a high value, low volume industry and it suits New Zealand's manufacturing perfectly. And in the Waikato we've got a um, really, really good group of aviation uh, companies and we're certain to be basing our sales around here somewhere and I see no reason why the large production of this aeroplane shouldn't remain in New Zealand indefinitely.